Hi, and welcome to Gino's Takes for NCAA Thursday Night. See that? You follow me on Twitter, and I do take requests. I'll give you a Baylor pick, something to wet your beak before you look at my two-minute drill for tonight's Thursday Night Cleveland-Cincy game. All right, the Setless Russell Baylor Bears, the Bears, it's a tongue twister, are traveling to K-State to face the Wildcats. And look, they are laying a Texas-sized number. But here's the thing. Let's not be the idiots that spoon-feed Vegas our money tonight and just blindly lay it on the over. Yes, it is not that big a total at only 70. And yes, it's Baylor that's averaging 661 yards a game, averaging over 60 points a game, has scored at least 45 in all seven. Those are staggering numbers. But as you know, they did that with Seth Russell at quarterback. So if you think that this rookie quarterback named Jared Stidham can just step in in the unfriendly confines of the ironically named Bill Snyder Family Football Stadium. If you think he can step in and pick up where Russell left off, that's fine. Then go with the over. But there's a different number you have to focus on. It's a number that you would always think of in college. And that's the line for this game. Look at that. The beauty of it is it's barely over 17. How many times have we said that in college? And it ended up with a lot of scoring. Now look. I know I just said that Baylor had the best offense in football, right? Did you hear me say that? Did I say they had the best passing offense? No, I said they had the best offense because what you don't realize is Seth Russell takes so much of the glory that this offense is all around amazing. Do you know their running back, Shock Linwood, great name in itself, is averaging 8.1 yards a carry, has 974 yards and 9 TDs, and when he's not in the game, a little guy named Terrence Williams, 417 yards and 1 TD. You didn't know about them? Why? Because you only know about their white quarterback, Seth Russell? Racist. And I'll tell you something else, their wide receiver, Corey Coleman, if Russell wasn't stealing all the spotlight, would be being touted as the best receiver in the NCAA completely. 47 catches, 962 yards, 18 TDs. Are you kidding me? You gotta love Baylor on its own. And if you're still thinking the over in this game, you better hope that Baylor and this new Stidham kid can score at least 65 and a half points to reach 70. Because over their last two games, K-State is averaging four and a half points a game. Four and a half, they lost to Oklahoma 55 to zip, and Texas, who stinks, 23 to 9. These are not, either of these defenses don't bring to mind the 85 Bears, let alone the 1985 movie, The Bad News Bears. Stop wasting, I know, but the sequel was 85, stop correcting me. Look, you think I don't want to use this picture for K-State? You don't think, I, don't think I want to use this and tell you to take K-State? I do, but I can't, because Baylor is going to run away with this game flat out with the line. I'm not touching the total, but I'm all over Baylor today and laying the points. That's Gino's NCAA Thursday. So much more to do tonight.